Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Judge Rinder has become the latest celebrity to weigh in on the Strictly Come Dancing controversy by suggesting winning has become more important for the show's professionals than the journey. The barrister and TV star, 46, said the competitive nature of ballroom dancers may interfere with the emotional complexion of the space. And as former contestant himself, he went on to admit he had a totally different experience to his female counterparts when he appeared on the show in 2016. His comments came after professional Graziano Di Prima, 30, was axed from the show following claims he allegedly hit and spat at his dancing partner Zara McDermott, 27, during rehearsals. Weeks before this, Giovanni Pernas, 33, was suspended while a BBC probe is conducted over claims of off-camera misconduct made by Amanda Abington, 50, and two other former celeb partners. Speaking on the off-air podcast, Rinders said at the beginning of the show, it was about the spirit and the heart. He continued, it was about journey, about taking somebody from being an amateur who's a bit rubbish and seeing how they got better. And you know, I do wonder as the spotlight has got brighter and especially with the presence and prevalence of social media, whether, you know, the challenges and stresses about winning have become slightly more important. Reflecting, he continued, and who knows, you know, perhaps there's never an excuse, but that perhaps when in a competitive environment where a lot of the ballroom teachers are competitive people themselves, the extent to which that interferes with the sort of emotional complexion of the space, who knows. The TV personality, whose real name is Robert Rinder, competed in the 14th series of the BBC show in 2016 and was paired with Oksana Platero, 38. Speaking of the current drama, he said, it certainly seems like it's in the crosshairs at the moment. And, you know, I've got to be very careful because it's a subject of an ongoing investigation. And I'm always mindful about that. We have to be very careful about coming to court of public opinion conclusions when we know so little about the detail. And that's especially important when it comes to people who are, you know, making courageous choices perhaps to come forward and also apply my mind to the fairness of those who have been accused. He stressed, it's very, very important that we think about court trials and the current, well, difficult conversation that's happening around Strictly. All I can talk about is my own experience, because that's all I know of. And in 2016, I had a blooming great old time. Robert, who was eliminated in week 11, said his co-stars genuinely bonded on the show but admitted women have a different experience. He said, it was a big epiphany moment, a silly one, perhaps, thinking about it because it would be so patently obvious to my goddaughters and all the women in my family. But it was a day when I was in a car with Laura Whitmore and we were going from the studio up to It Takes Two and there I am, you know, wearing my pajama bottoms to practice in, you know, going, oh I'm so delighted, my whole life, all I've ever wanted to do is get to Blackpool, dot. He said that he didn't have social media at this time, adding, nobody commented on what I was wearing. Nobody speculated on whether or not I might be having an illicit affair with Oksana. I mean, the only person that would be thrilled about that would be my grandma but obviously to the public, it would be surprising to say the very least. Robert added, but there I was in a car listening to Laura, and she was having a totally different experience, right? Because everything she wore was being evaluated. The level of speculation if you're a woman about perhaps you're having an affair with your partner, how women are described and sexualized in that context. And that's something which I had to understand. It is undoubtedly the case that in that world, Men and women often have a different time perhaps on the program. Graziano's shock departure from the show was confirmed when Strictly Bosses announced he would not be taking part in the upcoming series following his altercation with Zara, his 2023 series partner. He's been accused of spitting and hitting the former Love Island star during training sessions. The investigation into his behavior was triggered by Street.